Pakistan needs to undertake energy reforms and opt for renewable energy sources, a senior U.S. official said, stressing that reforms suggested by the IMF would help Pakistan break the vicious circle of debt and international financing. Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary Elizabeth Horst, who heads the Bureau of South and Central Affairs at the U.S. State Department, emphasized the need to implement reforms to meet future challenges. She said that these are tough economic times in Pakistan, in the United States and around the world, adding that the U.S. is working every day to help Pakistan make progress on economic reforms that will make it more competitive and better prepared to meet future challenges. The U.S. official underlined recent U.S. efforts to help ease the pressure of economic distress, including assistance for the victims of last year's devastating floods, which includes more than $215 million for emergency shelter, disaster relief and food. She further said that we are building for the future, helping Pakistan move from recovery to resilience by making strategic investments in energy, water and agriculture that strengthen climate resilience, drive forward energy transformation and foster inclusive economic growth through the US-Pakistan Green Alliance. Caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar is expected to discuss the economic crisis with the US and IMF officials in New York later this month. His delegation also includes Interim Finance Minister Dr. Shamshad Akhtar.